hi sweeties how are you doing welcome to simnaya if this is your first time of coming across this channel sweetheart kindly smash that subscribe button and turn your notification so you are notified each time i upload and please give this video a thumb up i appreciate you all so much and i am saying a very big shout out to every one of you for all the love and support you all shower me here with i am grateful and you are super awesome so today will be it's a hot topic actually and it's about a black man who was actually doing a straight interview and he saw uh you know white ladies ask them their ethnicity and they said that they are caucasians right and he asked them if you guys could be one race for a day what 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 would you be and why before they could the guy could say jack the woman said we are the superior race and then she turned around to say it is not like that i mean how is it then she went oh, she went for that to say that we are the messed up like you know the effed up effed up uh she has really effed up right and she went for that to say that i don't she would not want to be she would not like to be black because black people are having terrible and horrible moments like you know just being black and i think the guy that was doing the interview was actually very surprised and probably in shock uh about what she said like she said that they are they are the superior race right and she the lady actually ended up running away because she knew that she messed up but the truth is that majority of them would never want to give up their skin color to be black not even for a day or for a minute because they know what black people are going through some of them understand the history some of them knew they knew what is going on in black community and the privilege they have without their skin so that privilege is something they do not want to give up give up give up on and if you ask them not even like for a minute would you ask a, any white person what uh, what uh, race would you want to be for a day they will never denounce that white skin not even for a minute so i am gonna roll this clip we'll come back to talk about it and i absolutely want to read all your comments let me know what you all think in the comment section and straight up i am rolling the clip what is y'all's race or ethnicity caucasian caucasian i gotta, I gotta guess <laughs> if you guys could be one race for a day what would you be and why we're the superior race like not as in not not as in like that oh that's oh, mad we're, we are the that's most German like, i don't i'm not gonna be like i want to be black because you guys have a terrible time of it okay so what, what would you be after that crazy answer i'd be mixed race why, and why is that my ex-boyfriend was mixed race um growing up but he never and never got it why are you running it'd be quite interesting to experience like what other people are going through i don't know like i've never never had someone comment on my race as a white girl yes. if you guys could be one race for a day what would you be and why we're the superior race <laughs> Um, maybe she didn't word it the best, but for you guys that didn't get it, she said she'd rather stay white and not be black because why would she want to be black? The struggle that comes with being black, the inequality, all the stuff we're fighting for and that we talk about, she didn't want to endure that. She said it clear. And I mean, Do you expect her to say that she wanna struggle with us? Why would she say that? Almost every white person would say the same thing. Yeah. What? We're the superior race. <laughs> like, not as in, not, not as in. In all honesty, the look on his face says it all. This black man is clearly shocked by the transparency of this white woman. And to a certain point, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is the reaction of the black community whenever something racist happens in America. I'm also gonna go ahead and add just black people in general around the world as well. For some odd reason, y'all seem to believe that racism is just up and disappeared. And I don't know, maybe it's because of the fact that a lot of y'all are seeing Black Lives Matter posted up in people's yards. Or maybe it was because you're seeing congressmen and people in the government officials kneeling down and raising their fists in honor of Juneteenth. Or maybe it was because y'all voted Joe Biden in and because he was so close to Obama, y'all thought that everything was gonna change. Regardless of who's in office, regardless of what is socially acceptable, regardless of how many non-black people are buying Black Lives Matter merch, or whatever the case may be, racism in all of its forms is something that still has yet to be dealt with. Today, what would you be and why? We're the superior race, like, not as in, not, not as in like that. Superior, superior in human trafficking. 
bestiality, child abuse, homeless per city, state, and nationally, being immoral, being unethical. And I got to guess, if you guys could be one race for a day, what would you be and why? We're the superior. This was a Freudian slip, and I believe that she did not mean for it to come out that way. And this is what Miss Jane Elliott means when she says that all white people are racist, okay? Because if you grew up in society the way that it is, chances are that you have a lot of subconscious racist beliefs, whether or not you're a white person or a person of color. That's just what it is. So this is why we all need to do the subconscious inner work instead of fighting every day about who is racist and who isn't racist. Because if you grew up in this society, you have some internalized white supremacist ideals. So white people, instead of being focused on being afraid of being called racist, you should focus on the subconscious work that you need to do to get away from those ideals. And this isn't a call out about all white people are bad. I am just like speaking the facts. It's just, this is just what it is in this society as we have it right now. Because have you ever wondered why when a white person and a person of color are in conflict, a lot of the time the white person results to racist insults. Why do you think that is? It's like almost the first thing they go to is racism. Why do you think that is? All of this is subconscious. So the bottom line is that it's time to stop arguing and it's time to start doing the inner work, okay? And when you wanna get your panties in a bunch, remember that capitalism and narcissism are in a relationship during the marriage. And most of the time, black people are the scapegoat children. Sometimes it switches around, sometimes it's the Mexican, sometimes it's the indigenous, sometimes it's the Middle Easterns. Um, and most of the time it's black people. Remember that, okay? And if you don't know anything about narcissistic family dynamics, you should look it up. That's what we're going through right now in society. We all need to do this work. It's important for our future. For a day, what would you be and why? We're the superior race, like, not as in, not, not as in like, Oh shit, you make a meal. Madam on you bro. Which other way is there to be superior? Madam, make it teach me something. Because this particular programming that you have is in the space of decadent delusion. Where you carry your superior self to other countries on this planet. And you go, oh, why, why am I white woman? Superior people. Madam, shut up here. Because the sheer history of you people has been nothing but superior salacious distortion. See this Yurugu arrogance has caused every problem in the world. You will go and face your podium to the rest of the world. And when you dare speak, you tell them, say, We're the superior race. The superior stealers. The calamitous crocodile feeders. Erroneous ethnic cleansers. You people have been killing people for thousands of years. Madam, see your brain, it cannot work proper. You see me, self, I will start talking. Or you'll continue. It's a good bedtime story to tell your children. If you guys could be one race for a day, what would you be and why? We're the superior race, like, no. The law of natural selection says, you're wrong. And yes, Charles Darwin is turning in his grave. <laughs> if you guys could be one race for a day, what would you be and why? I think I'd be Japanese. I think it's worth me saying I shouldn't find such a video funny, but not only did I laugh, I screamed. Anyway, back to the topic. Yeah, I'd pick Japan. As a black man, I've got a good understanding of what it feels like to be black. As someone that grew up in the West, I feel like I've got a good understanding of what it feels to be European or American, even if I was a white European or American. Because I've lived in such places, I feel like I can understand what, it, what it's like to be from such places. So if I have the power to shapeshift into a completely different nationality or ethnicity, I might as well pick something that is the complete opposite to where I'm from. So I picked an Asian country. I was going to pick China, but China low-key too strict. I was going to pick the Philippines slash Thailand, but they'd be turning up too much. So I picked Japan because it's a nice middle ground. Culturally rich, rich in tradition, but technologically advanced. Perfect balance. Yeah, man would be Japanese. You guys could be one race for a day. What would you be and why? We're the superior race. Like, not Superior at what exactly? I'll give y'all one guess. One guess. Three seconds to guess. Three, two, one. Colonizing. Yeah, that's what it is. Superior at colonizing. Yeah, I'm done. 
race for a day, what would you be and why? With a superior race, like, not as in, not, not as in. Baby, it's too late now. You said it. You said it. And then, if y'all go back and watch the video, she walked away. Because she know she fucked up. She fucked up. She fucked up. Like, probably just watch this video. It probably got over... 30k views people we see this baby and y'all literally see her thinking that caucasian is the superior shut the fuck up shut the fuck up you should even say that and then at the, at the end of you saying this you laughed thought it was funny ma'am it wasn't whoever told you that they was a damn lie if you guys could be one race for a day what would you be and why we're the superior race Okay, so I'm gonna give y'all a take on this, on this whole racial superiority, whatever. Like, this is not hate. This is not what you think it is. The reason that people from the Caucasus and Germanic Europe became racist to begin with is because they know it's self-preservation. They know that once you introduce melanin to their gene pool, that that melanin DNA trumps their Caucasus or Germanic Europe DNA, and they literally fear going ex extinct because. It's not a superior gene. Anyway, I love y'all. Stay blessed. Guess if you guys could be one race for a day, what would you be and why? We're the superior race. <laughs> <laughs> when you don't actually mean to say the quiet part out loud, but your superiority complex couldn't shut the fuck up. <laughs> And then you got to run off with your tail between your legs. <laughs> this is priceless. Absolutely priceless. No. Superior. Bitch, the sun don't like you. <laughs> so this is all I got from the stitches. And when I saw this video, I was like, whoa. Then I remember one video that I posted here sometime, a white woman that was having a problem with a black man. And the first thing she said she is that, I am white and we rule. Oh my goodness. So I actually know the power their complexion holds so bad. And they also, majority of them also understand the history. They know the history. They know what black people are going through because of their skin. And for that reason, they do not want to, for not even for a minute, switch. And then that dawns on me that each time we talk about white privilege, this is also part of it. You know, they are always denying that there is nothing like white privilege. There is nothing like, you know, I got to work so hard to do what I, man, you all got all that privilege and you all keep denying it. Like, how many of them will you even call out to denounce their whiteness that we say, I am going to, they will not. Even some of the minorities, if you ever ask them, will you ask them to like, you know, can you, they will never. Because they understand and they know the struggles black people are going through and some of them do not also want to acknowledge the fact that I mean, there are so many things going on. There are so many things black people are going through. There are so many things happening to black people because of their complexion. Just being a black person, you are going to be followed in a store. I mean, where you went to shop or something like that, you will be followed. Why? Because they are scared that you might steal something. And then I have also seen videos where a white woman was calling out her palm color people out because like each time they go shopping, they always think that uh, uh, like they, nobody follows them around because they're all white, but they end up stealing something. It's, it's not even the black people that is doing you, it is them palm colored people. I remember also two friends, white and black, they went to the store to buy something. Man, this man, this young boy, they know what is always going on when a black and a white person, like, you know, something happens. It is always the black person, right? That is always the suspect. But the rest is always the case. 
So when they went to the store, finished buying something, they were following the guy around and after buying anything, everything, they stepped out only to find out that the white guy also did shoplifted. Right? So these are the things black people, I, I'm not even saying the major ones. I am just saying the minor, minor ones. These are the things black people go through just because of their complexion. And if that complexion is something that they cannot give out, they cannot, like, you know, they cannot, it always give them away. But then some say, a lot of people are saying the struggle being a black person and all that. But man, it is what it is. It is the complexion. It's something that you're going to, like, you know, have for the rest of your life and all that. They probably do not understand or they or they know, but they just do not want to understand. She said that she is the superior race and eventually ran away because she knew that she effed up big time. She effed up by saying that and then turn around to say that uh, we are the effed up as whatever. I mean, she's looking for a way to cover up. But was I expecting her to say that? I would want to be a black person or something. I was not expecting her to say that because, yeah. So this is where I am going to draw the curtain. Thank you so much for the support. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye for now.